Now here's a mask of Charlie Chaplin. It's perfectly ordinary, there's nothing trickery about it, it's just an ordinary mask. And when you look at the front side, it looks solid and normal, as you'd expect. The odd thing that you'll see is when you start looking at the back side, at the hollow side, because although it is in fact hollow, if you look at it, I think you'll agree that it looks solid. And what's more, it not only looks solid, but it seems to be going around in the wrong direction, so that when the, the real front side comes round, it seems to sort of eat it up. There's the real front side. Now that really is solid. And when the other side comes round, that is going to look solid as well, even though it isn't. Well, what's going on here? When the brain sees anything that looks like two eyes, a nose and a mouth, it immediately sets up inside the head a model of a face. It's desperately eager to see a face. It will see a face if there's the slightest excuse to do so. And the backside of this mask is the slightest excuse. There is two eyes, a nose and a mouth, and that makes the brain get out, dust off its model of a three-dimensional face. Now, if you think about what would happen to the images on the two retinas, if the image really was solid, if the thing really was solid, the actual movements on the retinas is compatible with the idea of a solid face moving in the opposite direction. And so the brain eagerly seizes upon that, and it makes the solid face rotate in the wrong direction.